Now we'll just place some peanut butter right on the edge and it's ready to start catching mice. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out the High Dive Mousetrap. It's a simple DIY mousetrap that consists of a bucket, some wire, and a plate. The mouse will walk out there, try to get the bait, and when it does, it'll get flipped down in the bucket. Now I discovered the High Dive Mousetrap. It was printed in an article in the Backwoods Home Magazine back in 2008. And the article describes how to build it. I made a working model here and it talks about how many mice you can catch. We're gonna test it out with our pet mice first and then set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch some wild mice. But I'm not convinced this is the best design this trap could be. First of all, the bar's on top and in theory, a mouse could hold on it with its feet and tail when it flips, not go down. We're gonna test that out and see if it happens. Also, there's another problem. If we flip a mouse, it might go around and then it's stuck and it will only catch one mouse. So I'm gonna make some modifications and make this trap even better. And we're gonna test out my improvements next to the original and see which one will catch more mice. I wanna give them a soft landing when they go down. Okay, let's see if our spotted mouse will go on the high dive. Hey, that worked well. We might catch a lot of mice, but I'm gonna show you the improvements I made with this trap. So here's my improved version. I flipped the plate upside down so it hides the wire. That way the mouse can't hold onto it with its tail or paws. Also, I tied some string on the back so this won't go past the halfway mark. That way, it should always reset. Let's get our pet mice and test this version out as well. Okay, let's do this again. Both versions caught my pet mice. Now let's go have a competition in the barn. We'll set them up side by side to see which one catches more mice. Well, last night we had great results with the homemade high dive mousetrap made from a paper plate and a wire. The original version worked well. I was concerned it would flip around and get stuck, but that didn't happen. We caught three mice, but on the improved version, we caught double the number of mice. I think that hiding the wire and tying the string makes it a better trap. I'm gonna have to review the motion camera footage and give you my final thoughts at the end of the video, but for the most part, both designs worked well. Now what we caught are mostly a non-native invasive species called a house mouse. They're not part of the natural ecosystem and they're invasive and cause damage, so I can't set them free. Instead, I'm gonna humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. But we did catch one native species, it's called a deer mouse. Because that's part of the natural ecosystem, I'm gonna take it far from any building and let it go. But it snowed last night, so it's gonna to have to find a new home in the snow. Okay, deer mouse, stay out of trouble.
You can see what a mouse's tracks look like in the snow. Two small paws in the center and two wider ones on the outside. Now let's go humanely dispatch the house mice and we'll leave them at the beaver dam to see what wild animals enjoy a mouse feast. Well, I love checking the trail cameras to see what wild animals are using the beaver dam to cross the creek. There's quite a variety, including an opossum and raccoon that ate the mice we caught, also a squirrel and coyotes, but my favorite was seeing that gorgeous bobcat. It had thick spots and it's a really neat animal. They won't eat the dead mice, they like to catch their mice alive, but it's good seeing them. Now, after reviewing the motion camera footage, I saw that both traps worked well, but we did catch more mice with this trap. I think it's because they can feel it tilting and they hold onto the bar. So if you're gonna make this trap, I suggest you flip it around, hide the bar, and tie a string so it doesn't flip around. But if you're in a pinch, this version works well too. Thank you so much for watching. On my channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on. I especially like the simple DIY mouse traps. There's so many creative ways of catching mice. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 800 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.